A website pop-up is a clever way to present useful message to the customers. Today we'll be using the Cadence Model pop-up block available from the Cadence Blocks Pro package. I walk you through the procedure of creating two usual website pop-ups to help you convert leads into customers. If you are in interested, stay tuned. My name is Natalie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Creating a sense of urgency in your site is a great technique to gain more money. I have imported a cadence template for membership websites ready to use. The purpose of my first pop-up is to offer a discount as a result of a marketing campaign. The window pop-up is open with the built-in modal link text. Let's proceed. From my WordPress dashboard, I go to my blog posts tab and I'm gonna edit a blog, a blog post. Edit in Gutenberg. At the bottom, I had a new blog by clicking on the plus button. I type in modal pop-up. The default view of the modal pop-up is to the middle of the page. We can also close by clicking on the close icon at the upper right side. We can change the text link. Select it with the, your mouse and I change to details. We can turn on or off the link. If we turn off, we can trigger the modal pop-up with a custom link somewhere else on the page. I will show you this, so stay with me. Now let's add the countdown timer block. There's plenty of limitless possibilities with this block. This block is part of the free Cadence blocks, but there's also a pro version in which we can use an evergreen countdown type. Type. In this video, I only use the free version of the block. Let's customize. In the, the layout tab, I want the alignment to be centered. The countdown layout, I go with block. I want to display the day's unit. In the count item settings, I want a border color with a width of 2 pixels. The padding, I go with 11 pixels. I click on the plus sign. I write some text. I highlight the text with my mouth and I align to the center and I put it in bold. My line height is 1 and the font size is 18 pixels. Now I hit the enter from my keyboard to add an advanced button block from Cadence Blocks. In the bottom alignment tab I want to the center and then I click in the bottom count panel to add, to add another button. I select the text and I change to thanks, no. In the bottom size I want my text size set to 11. The final step is to, to customize the modal pop-up. So I select it first with my mouse and in the modal overlay settings the color is transparent tone the, under the animation settings panel I choose fade in and fade down and in the position settings I want to the center which is the default mode but we could define to left or right sides. 
For the vertical alignments, I define it to the middle. And in the box size panel, which is the visible part of our pop-up, I define the fixed minimum height to 400 pixels and for the desktop, max width to 100%. The modal max width, I set it to 400 pixels wide. Let's update and preview. There's our modal pop-up triggered by the link. Let's use now an icon to trigger our modal pop-up. Select first your modal pop-up. In the link settings panel, I scroll down till I find the select icon option. I select one icon and I enable the option to Show only icon. Update. And let's check it out. This next website pop-up is to be triggered by our custom link inside the page. Let's begin. So, WordPress dashboard. Pages tab, home page, page, and I want to edit in Gutenberg. Below the sign up now button, we create a new block. We create a new block. I type in modal pop up. With the modal pop up block selected, I turn off the link settings. Below, in the custom open ID tab, I write second. This is where I had an ID for my custom link. Make it possible to open from another link on my page. In the modal overlay settings tab, I choose a transparent color. By first choosing a white color and then dragging to the left till we get transparency. In the Modal Animation Settings tab, we set up the animation for when the pop-up is opening and closing. I go with slide in and up and slide down, down. In the Modal Position Settings tab, I want my pop-up to be aligned to the left side and the Modal Box Vertical aligned to the middle. We can even choose other positions such as top the bottom. The modal box is a visible part of the pop-up. In the modal box size, this is where I set up the width and height of, our, my, of my pop-up. For the high, I want 400 pixels high. And for the width, I set up to 100% and the max width to 100, 600 pixels. On the modal box styling tab, we define the alignment of our box. For me, is left in horizontal and top vertical alignment. For the border color, I set to the green. I set to a green color. The radius border is 3 pixels. And padding and margins, you can leave as they are. Or 30 pixels is fine for me. In the advanced tab, I had an additional CSS class. And I type in modal trigger. No spaces. Update. So the final step is to go to the Sign Up Now button located above. Select it to get, to get its settings options to the right. This is an advanced button block. And I need to go to the bottom link tab and I type in Second with an hashtag to call our modal pop-up. 
Now I add some content to this model pop-up. It will contain a form within. I pick up a new block, I type in form, and now I transform the message form field into a GDPR declaration. The field type I set it to accept. We activated the required option and the label is GDPR. This button is the trigger of my modal pop-up. Update. And now let's check now the final result. I hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.